Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt Today Daytona Career Mode series. Let's see how last episode went, and see where we're headed today. So, last race was our first foray into Cup Series squiggly season. We did bad. I definitely have a lot more work to do on my road course stuff. Thankfully, I kept running after I blew the motor instead of just quitting. And we picked up like four spots because of it. But yeah, we're gonna put that in the rear view mirror, see where we're headed today. And that will bring us to Firecracker 400 weekend. We're headed to Daytona. I think we will do a little better this time than we did last time. So the setup we had for the Daytona 500 was not good at all. I went ahead and set it back to the default setting for Daytona and I'm gonna just basically start from scratch and work from there. Maybe we'll make it better. Maybe it'll be fine to start with. Let's find out. Man, just like the Daytona 500, it is taking forever to get up the speed. My goodness. It's kind of hard to tell how fast or slow we are compared to the rest of the field on a track like this where you know i guess i'm catching the people in front of me and no one's been catching me since i got up to speed but still so slow all right we just ran i think our yeah that was our best lap ever so including the laps in the draft in the 500 we're still faster than that so that is a positive. We've obviously upgraded the car a good bit since then, but you know, hey, at least we're faster than fake Jimmy Johnson. That's a plus, You're right? You're all clear. And judging by the oil temp, we can definitely add some tape to the front. I'll probably mess with the air pressures a little bit, but other than that, I think the car is as good as it's going to get, probably. So I added a little bit of air pressure. I adjusted the gear just a bit. I want to see. It seems like I'm getting up to speed a little faster, which is kind of what I was hoping for. We'll see, though, after a couple laps if it made an improvement or not, but... Other than that, I think the car is pretty, I say pretty good, as good as it's gonna get. So I think this lap will be a good test of did we get faster or not. We were not even a 10th off of our best lap and we weren't even completely up to speed when we hit the finish line the first time around. So I think this one will be a good indicator. Still there, clear low. Yeah, there. we low. got faster, cool. So I might do one more change on the gear and see if that makes it just that much better. Um, we'll see. So this time I went two more clicks up on the gear ratio. So maybe I went too far. Maybe I could still go further. I definitely am interested to see how fast, uh, how fast of a lap we can get done. So we crossed the finish line this time around even a little faster than we did with the last gear setup. So I'm hoping this will be an even faster lap, but I'm trying not to draft off anybody to get a good, you know, good reading on if this is truly faster. You're all but clear. We're about to find out. So this was two tenths slower. I'm gonna run one more lap just to see. But if we can't run faster, I'll probably just revert back to the old setup. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the old setup. I no think there. it just has Clear to do low. with where the RPMs are at the exit of the corner 
and where our peak torque hits. So I'll go back on that change and then go ahead and qualify. 46.7 out of Mark Martin. So yeah, we are still slow. We obviously won't be the slowest, but we're slow. So we're coming up to the start of lap number one. We are at 183 when we cross the line. So hopefully we'll be a little higher when we cross the line the next time. This is the one that counts. We crossed the line at 186 this time. So picked up a little bit of speed. So that was around four tenths slower than our best lap ever. So hopefully this lap will be able to put it together a little better. Uh, clip the apron a little bit. That's definitely not going to help our lap. We'll see where we end up. Alright, let's see where we play. Yeah, 4867. So we could have been a bit faster, but still way better than Daytona 500. <laughs> So two seconds off of pole time, qualified 15th, radical. And I don't plan on making any more changes. So let's hear from Alan about the Daytona International Speedway. Welcome to the Sunshine State and the birthplace of NASCAR, Daytona Beach, Florida. Since 1959, a driver's career can be made or broken at Daytona International Speedway. The two and a half mile trioval has served as a proving ground for some of the greatest names in racing. 31 degrees of banking in the turns and incredible speeds on the straightaways have led to the inclusion of restrictor plates here. Aerodynamic drafting has become a must have skill in order to stay with the pack and master Daytona. And look at that, we didn't even have to wait 30 seconds after Alan finished talking before we see our car. Fantastic. There's the green flag, car high. So it looks like the race is 21 laps Hold and we get about 14 laps to a tank of gas, so once we get past lap seven or so, I think we will be in our window. Clear high. I didn't even realize we bonked the nose already. I guess we must have run into Mike Wallace on the lead up to the green. Ooh, we are squirrely. So on the bright side, we definitely have some speed in the draft. Oh, Mike, save that. Oh, Mike did not save that. Yep. There's a wreck in turn one. There sure is. Well, we are way out of the fuel window, so unless I really bonk this car before the lap ends, I'm not going to pit. I will see if we can pick up another couple spots though. Stay high, still there. Still there. Pace cars out, still there. All clear. Oh, let's go, eighth place, baby. Yeah, we're not gonna pit. Well, it was nice to get a couple laps under our belt to start the race. Much happier with the setup compared to what we ran in the Daytona 500. The car is obviously a lot better and hopefully we can keep it in one piece and get a good finish here at Daytona. There's the green flag. So we have 18 laps to go. We've got 12 laps of fuel. 
Sorry about that, Mike Wallace. I do apologize for ruining your race already. Hopefully I can stay with this lead pack and uh, maybe even lead some laps. That'd be sweet. Jeff, sorry about that. Still there. Yeah, we are definitely not fast enough to lead a line. Bravo. Hopefully we'll be fast enough to stay behind somebody and uh, get some good drafts, maybe. But, I mean, hey, if it gets all strung out and we can just finish in the top 10, compared with uh, how the Daytona 500 went, that will be, that'll be great. And yeah, we're running, obviously, in the draft way faster than we did as a single car. Ooh, let's, uh, let's try not to do that again. Hey, Sterling. Car high. Yeah, can't really block that. Car hey, low. Jeff. Okay, Jeff. I didn't appreciate that. So with 15 to go at this point, if there's a caution, I think everyone would pit. Because we're close enough to the fuel window. But you never know. The AI in this game are not exactly known for their brilliance. Still there. Come on, Jeff. You're being oh, side drafted. You're there. supposed to fall back. got 3% arrow damage so I wouldn't think that would be our, our big problem I think it's just down to motor we're just simply not fast enough but oh well come on Jeff why is Sterling Marlin pulling away from us go faster oh well I did that again that didn't help Jeff, don't leave me. I would assume everybody, unless there's a caution, is pretty much just going to run until they're out of fuel. Can't imagine anybody really short pits. Hi, Dave. No. Just push me. Okay, that's the halfway mark. Just push me, Dave. Push me, Dave. Seems I am bringing uh, more cars into the party as Dale Jarrett is uh, quickly, quickly catching us. Oh, no, sir. No, sir, that is not allowed. Oh, come on, don't do that. Oh, are we starting to catch lap cars? All right, I'm gonna pit. What's the speed limit here? 50 something, 60 something. All right, we are gonna do one can, two tires, no damage.
Alright, let's make it quick, bucket heads. Yeah. Now this way, if there's a caution, I won't have to pit again. And I believe... Yeah, I'm not going to lose my lap. So, if a caution comes out, we don't get stuck a lap down, which is a big plus. So we've got plenty of fuel. And I know my entry to pit road wasn't great, so it'll probably drop me down to 15th or so once we cycle through everybody, but we'll see. The car ahead is pitted. Five laps to go. Okay, yeah, we've come out 14th, so that's about about where I expected, somewhere top 15, so obviously I need to work on my pit road entries to not lose so much time, but a slow entry is better than a 15 second black flag for going too fast on entry, so I gotta minimize my losses. <laughs> I would assume just about everybody is pit at this point. I'm guessing these guys coming out are probably the lap down cars, so I don't anticipate picking up any more positions. So it seems like Dale Jr. hasn't really been able to make up any ground on us. We might actually finish this one 14th, which I'll be pretty happy with if we can finish it off. Of course, as I say that, he starts getting larger in my mirror. Last lap. So we've made it to the last lap. Thankfully, the car is still in one piece. We are still running top 15. And I think we might actually get a pretty good payday out of this one. So it looks like Kurt Busch led just about every lap. Good for him. We finished on the lead lap and we didn't crash. So things weren't great. Things definitely could have gone worse. So that gives us 121 points on the day. Not too bad. Let's see what kind of money we made. And look at that, $154,000. I think we only had like 300,000 coming into this race, so. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Man, we're only 800 points out of first place. We might have a bit of work to do before we start thinking about the league crown. Yeah, I agree. But we're still sitting 25th in points. 35th is over 400 points behind us, so I think we have a pretty good chance to stay on top 35 this season. But yeah, that's going to do it for another episode. I just want to say a big thank you for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Comment if you have anything to say. And subscribe if you're not. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya. I think this is going to come out the 23rd of July. My 30th birthday was just a couple days ago. So, yay. I'm old now.